Welcome to part four of our modeling fundamentals on Power Pro structures. In this session, we're going to go through navigating around our model and using view tools within our Pro structures environment. So we're going to kick off with navigating around our Pro structures model. Our Pro structures view tools are found under the Pro structures directory on line E and line T. Okay. And you can see here that our ACS has been set um, so we could put our steel in. You can see here the first of our tools is the aeroplane mode. And if there's a flyout which has five different views around the model and aeroplane resets everything. You can see here that it's moved the ACS back. It is a full reset. If you ever get yourself in trouble, straight to aeroplane. Okay. Next one here top view. Top view is based on the ACS. So it'll be a top view of the ACS as it currently sits. Just like that. Okay. Again, aeroplane gets us straight back out into 3D. All right. Our next button across is our select view. Now the select view works best if we have a work frame and you can see all the different work frame views here, right? From work frame one, which is up here. Okay, and underneath is uh, work frame two. All right, so you can see here uh, A from work frame one and say B for work frame two. And all we've got to do is double click on it and it will take us straight to that view. Just like that. Okay, so that's grid one. Aeroplane takes us straight back out. Okay, so if I wanted to have a look at, say, Grid C, straight to Select View, double click Grid C, here we go. Now, it's one thing to note that in a busy model, all the rest of the model is clipped out. This is where the clipping planes come into play. Okay, it is 500 mil back, everything is clipped off. All right, we can turn our clipping planes off here. Okay, I'll go into it more later, but you can see the rest of the model is still there. All right. Next one is object view centered. Now you use this one a lot. Okay. We particular, we select the object that we want to view at and you'll get a little view cube come up here. Okay. Each of these arrows is a direction arrow that you want to view from. Okay. You'll notice that it gets smaller. If I zoom in the uh, view cube fits the screen. See, the more I zoom in, the smaller it gets. All right. Also, because we're in transparent, it gets a little bit hard to see it. All right. So I'm just going to switch to wireframe here. You can see in wireframe, it's, it jumps out a lot more at you. But I like to be working in this transparent modeling mode. And you, you do get used to things washing out just that little bit in the 3D mode. OK. So down here, it'll prompt you. Remember, get used to having a look at our prompts down the lower left. Select the view. Now, I might be a little bit small here, so I might just pick this again. There we go. Now, a word of warning, make sure you see it glow. See, it's glowing there. That means that I have actually snapped to it. If you don't snap to it, you're not going to get the required view that you want. Okay, and you pick the arrowhead on the side you want to look from. Again, the clipping planes have clicked in place. All right. So the aeroplane will bring, it'll turn the clips off. Okay, nice and simple. The next thing is, sometimes you, you, you don't want to align the view globally. So what I want to do here, I'll just stop mucking this up. What I want to do here is I don't, I want to tell the software, I don't want to align the view. So there's an align view switch here. There we go. If I uncheck that, it will not align the object to the global view of it. Okay. So if I pick this column, it will lay my column out left or right across the screen. Okay. If I didn't tick, if I had the left, the align view checked on, it would have kept it the way the, the global view of it. And you'll see that the ECS axis is going from left to right. 
All right, the next one over is the object ACS centered. Now what we do here is this doesn't change my view. What it does is it changes the ACS. So if I want to roll that ACS up so it runs up and down my beam, I do it like that. Okay, and you can do this as many times as you want. All right, I use it for when I'm working on um, drilling holes through the middle of my webs and things like that. Okay. You get the idea how that works. Aeroplane resets it. Now the clipping planes, we, we have lots of different options for the clipping planes, turn them on, turn them off. I just use number one, which is clipping planes off. Okay, generally I'll set my view, then I'll either turn them off if I want to see the entire model behind it. Okay. So in this instance here, if I'm copying something from this front beam and I want it out the back where I can't see here, okay, I might need to turn my clipping planes off so I see the rest of the structure and then I could copy something over. Just bear in mind, you are in a 3D space and that beam might be six meters away. So just, just be wary or mindful of the 3D environment that you are working in. All right. Another alternative to seeing the entire model, of course, is your microstation views. Okay, which you could use. So here is the front view, here is the right view. That is looking at the entire model. Okay, the microstation one doesn't include clip planes, where the ProSteel one does. All right, moving on, we've got our hide and hide accept tools. Okay, these are fantastic if you've got a busy model, I've got a busy intersection here, and I want to hide two objects to clear up the intersection. I select one, hold down control, pick the other one, and I'm just left with a couple of bits which clears the whole intersection up. Regenerate brings it back. Okay, so that's hide. Hide group, we don't have any groups yet, but what we could do is turn the, turn the groups off, okay, as an entire group. This one's hide except, so I could go the same two beams, hide everything else. And you can see the whole model has disappeared now, making it really easy to work on this area. Okay, really good for big models. Regenerate brings everything back. So we've got hide accept group and things like that. Really good for, for complex intersections and so forth. Hide at plane. Okay, you select the plane of the work frame that you want to that you want to hide, and that plane will disappear. Regen brings everything back. Okay. Hide everything else except that plane. Okay, so there's some really funky tools here to help us the more complex that our models become. We also have an isolate switch here. To be honest with you, I do not use the isolate. I, I All of my other tools do the job really well. Okay, I find that I don't really need the isolate. Okay, that's our view tools. Very, very helpful. Okay, um, and you'll use these a lot once the model starts getting more and more and more complex. So if I go hide except this area here, Everything else is gone and I can just work simply on this connection without without the clutter of the rest of the model being here. Okay, wonderfully powerful view tools to help us navigate around our model.